Hi guys, hope you're doing good. Welcome back. My name is Aunt Brenda. Welcome to my channel, the channel where we share business ideas as I told you on my previous videos. I'll be sharing with you different types of business ideas. And what do I mean by saying business ideas? I'm talking to someone, maybe you have like 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 somewhere and you are thinking which business will I start or what can I do with this money? So I'm here to help you or maybe you have some relatives who are always on your phone like hey send me like a little money, 3k, 2k and maybe you are tired and you think like how can I help this person like what can I do? So all you need to do is get your uh, business ideas here and you can help even a relative. It's not a must that it's your business. You can start it to help someone else. So I've shared with you two videos about how to start a Kibanda and make salad that one. Another one I shared with you how to make chipo. That was true. So on today's video, I'm going to share with you how to start a show. And specifically, like in place of just a general show. Because as for me, I have a general show and an Mpesa. So today I'm not going to do a practical video. I'm just going to talk. I just want us to share ideas and tell you what I do. So First thing when you want to start a shop, or if you have already started a shop, the first thing you should do is keeping records. Then the first day you open a shop, the moment you want to close and go home, you have to take your records so that you get to know if you made profit or losses. As for me here, I have my own records. I'm going to show you. I have a record book as from 1st April. I had an older book but it was full so I decided and bought another one. So this one is from 1st April. All these are records until today. So I don't know if you can see the figures. On 1st April I had a flow of 59,673,000 cash of 63,095 and quartile I had a total of 65,008 when I talk of load I mean the money that I have in my phone when I talk of cash the money that I have at hand then till I have an equity equity till when the person sends the money into the till it goes straight into my account so the reason why i i decided to have a till is because of two things one thing some people will come and tell you like they want to for this money to invest uh, so when you give them your number they deliver the money they they reach a time and they reverse the money and so that's just learn how to read those bonds. So that's why I decided to have a, an equity deal because they ca they cannot reverse. Another thing I wanted to to improve my loan limit. You know, when you are doing business, sometimes you may, be, you may need a booster and maybe you don't have where you can get the money. So when you save in the account, at least you can get a loan. So as for me, when someone pays the money through the till, it goes straight to my account and that makes me eligible to get a loan. So that's another thing. So to get up for records, this was 1st April. Here is 10 April. I had a total, I had a float of 21,918. I had cash of 86,710. Then got here, 6,800. I had a total of 109,428. So, 
I know you will be surprised like first April you go 65, then 10th April you go 109. No, it's because I'm in some chamas. So maybe what you have more here, then you boost your business. At least to have a float in our business. But she the same way you go to start at the same time. You can go to the same time. You can go to the same time. But you can't start the same time. Like you can't start business with 40,000. Then when you close, you have like 38,000. That means you are making losses. At least you close with 32 or you end the layer. So when you look at first, this is first May. I had a cash of 64,850. Float 69,240. Then for three, 5,030. So on first May, I closed with 139,120. This is, for, let me tell you one thing on the investor. The one thing I like with Safari Com is that you'll always get your commission on first. The, the midnight of 31st, I mean, see, see, we answer midnight. So, situation tare much. So, midnight to lay off. Piamka, so we on a part of commission. As in, that's one thing I love with Safari Com. You will never argue like. On first, you have your commission. So if you check on my records, every first of every month, you will see that my float is going up. Like on first June, I had a float of 80,900, cash 60,100, then 5,200. I had a total of 146. So if you you go through my records well, you will see that even if the figures are varying, but at least there is, I'm constant. Like, so that means business in a song and So that means business in a song and bed. So that's one thing about keeping records. The second thing when you have a shop is avoid selling on credit. Okay, I understand the economy is not good, but so just avoid selling on credit. Okay, you may have those loyal customers when you're raising a tab inside here, but just try and avoid it. At least it will help you. Okay, the third thing is be disciplined. As in the other in attack and discipline. Where's the quarter extravagant anytime you are taking money from your business and like one and go attack up on one of the three cats in the future and attack up on one like just be disciplined. Use the money necessarily like on specific things and some side. I'm not trying to find the same thing as I but at least to maintain this plane so that the other in the same place are exciting and extravagant. I'm all good. It will take you nowhere. Then the fourth thing is maybe you have started a shop in may peak. So I'm talking about a general shop. Like for my shop, I don't sell this food stuffs like unga, unga chapo, michele. As I told you, I'm close to a hospital, so. Most of my customers are patients, so now we have to come up with maziwa, gate, nini. But if you have to start a general shop and maybe in a big and you want to introduce a pesa, kuna tena tu magonzo kujia kutusungwa like first thing when you open an investor, we will admin at a pair of rules. The first rule is you should not give out cash before customers pay, I don't So there is some situation with a person who is going to pay a bill. Oh, it's not you. So some are loyal, now we give them funds. So the moment you give up the money, they have to pay. They have to figure out how much they have to pay. Now once they have to pay, they have to pay. They have to pay. If you don't have the idea of that person who will go the cash, my friend, your money is gone just like that. So you should be keen to deal with those funds. 
Sometimes safari kwa mwanapitia za request kwa kuonyesha iwa kuambia location like hebu angalia location yenye ule mtu alitoa alitoa pesa akiwa kwa kurumia wasa kwanza zilia but just begin with to deal with those cons Another thing is try and love your business Okay, kuna, kuna two different types of business. One is the answer to the question of my eyes, my skin, my skin. Which is similar to the situation of the shikidi at the airport. You are part of the business. You are not going to do what has been. Just love your business. The moment you love your business, it will grow. You find it what you do. You do not go find. You know, I, I meet with some friends. Go to our own. Apart from going to the airport, we are like, hey, you are doing a good job. But because he's not. He doesn't love his business at all. Yeah, Hana, but you know, just to be a between me and me, you see, just to be a fan of the Ashara, na so much. Then all will be well. So another thing is make sure your business is growing. For example, come on, we are we from work, banda na kanda na school. At least what a customer will do next time, apate, we will get a stock, we will get a yard, we will get a bit of money, we will get a home. That shows that your business is growing. Yeah. So I think I have given you enough information. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. I will help you. Then I'll be happy at least. So another thing is, if you have any idea of any, I mean, if you want to start any business and you don't have any idea, again let me know in the comment section. Like, kuna mtu tu kona juu za na mi nataka kuanzisha biashara fulani tanga. Just ask the question on the comment section. I will tell you because. I want us to go outside there and ask people. I mean, in Kenya we have so, so many business that people are doing. So, to the figure to an extent, so what we need to do for streets, we need to work with the owners, the owners, the owners, the owners, and we ask them what they do and what, and what we should not do if we want to open those businesses. As in, the post to me is that you want to touch a board, touch a board, and again, you want to touch a So, even from here, we are going somewhere. I will shoot another video. So, in case you see me in the same matter, don't, don't be surprised because from here, I'm going to shoot another video. So, but I have kind of worked down at least to an again. You mean what you want to find your point? You can be better again. What you want to find to a little more swaggy. What you want to give you a little more answer and a capital of the Sangabi. The challenges they are facing, what we should do and what we should not do. You do too, guys. So, from here, make sure you watch the next video because it will just be in line with. Then the same that I'm doing. Twenty. No way. You be sure again. What one company you are doing? So, in case you have, you will start business. In case you get idea from my content and you start business, let me know at least that I'm putting you in the room. And then you put an idea for a channel. I go to the weekend and dance. I come and see the progress. I will be happy. At least I brought change to someone's life. So. Just be free, be free to to get I think that's enough for today. So without any further ado, let's go to the streets and see what other people are doing so that we can also do. So thank you so much if if we video in the program, Sana, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys.